So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. It is that game series where guys, we uh, I mean you know what, let me just ask you guys. Yeah? Anyone know? Okay, I'll be quiet. It is that game series guys where we proceed to take not just one single game, nor two, but three random games and also, just for the heck of it we do this. And we keep it this way until I choose to cut the clip, which uh, well it can last as long as I want really. That's why we're still going now. How's it going? I have nothing more to say about this, okay? <laughs> Welcome back, though, anyway, guys, to this video. Now, of course, I have three more games prepared for you guys, and I think they're gonna be some pretty good ones. Usually, what I like to do at the start of these videos is give you guys, like, a brief overview of the games we're playing, but honestly, I don't even know what the freak they are. I was literally online, I went one, two, three, and now we're here. And so, with all of that said, I just wanna get straight into this video, guys, and I mean, if you do like this episode, I think you know exactly what to do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do I get no time to even say what this game is? I guess not. Could be an alarm. Could be something else. Groan. Uh, I heard, uh, Alep. What? Stop. What? Is, is this English or, wait, what? Alex, stop. So instead of Alexa, it's Alex. Well, we've confirmed that. Apparently we're mumbling. I heard nothing. Okay, now we're getting up. That's a creaky floorboard right there, dude. So this is a game called Darkness, and I think it's something to do with like a kid who's got a phobia of the dark, wouldn't you know it? We also moved into a new house, we're in a new neighborhood, we know no one, so basically all of those horror cliche moments. Is that really the right sound for like- <laughs> wait, what? Why so aggressive though? Okay then, I guess we should try and get started somewhat with this game. So it is a voxel based experience, I believe, which is why everything has like this blocky look. This might be kind of unique, though the bed looks the most uncomfortable thing ever to sleep in, I'm just saying. Anyway, do we have to do anything right now? Can we move the handle? Aye. Uh, wait, what the freak? Can't open the window. Uh, can't really do anything at all. I'm really confused at the minute. Aha, here we go. So left click to use or right click to examine. Noted. Uh, looks like a little gamepad right there. My little handheld console. I used it a lot recently. Sadly, it is useless without batteries. Uh, is that the battery right there? Can't examine it, so I guess not. How about this thing, though? That looks like a battery if ever I've seen one. I'm feeling more energetic already. How about like this? There we go. So, okay, one more battery to go. So that's what we're trying to do, find batteries. I guess we just can't sleep. Maybe I had a night terror or something like that. We can solve that. We can always solve that. Examine this, my somewhat new monitor. It's full HD, I got it cheap from a friend. What a nice friend. Okay, let's go ahead and open this thing, so. There you go. Oh, that looks cool, and that like voxelized style, I'm liking it. We're gonna pull this thing open as well. Uh, I don't think I see the battery in there. Uh, okay, let's take a look in this thing. So that's like a satchel bag, you're mine. That's a little bit, uh, what is this? Some kind of like parchment? Can I actually pick that thing up? Hold up, okay, don't wanna do that. It's a small strip of paper with some text, of which I can't read, so can you? Oh, I wrote those as reminders for the combination to my drawer lock. He sat up and searched for his shoes. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I see, so down here, there's some kind of combination we gotta figure out. I guess there'll be a specific amount of words then, so control to crouch. Let's take a look at this thing. Hang on a sec, what did this say again? So he sat up and searched for his shoes. Uh, I still have no idea what the heck that even means. Hold up, there's another one down here, alongside another battery. If I take this one, maybe this one will help even more. The thunder class and flashes scared him. So, what, light? But that's only four letters. What I'm gonna do though, guys, is I'm gonna take the second battery. Don't go on about that feeling more energetic bullcrap, okay? Let's just use it. Okay, and then we're gonna place it inside there. So now it should work fine again. So what do I play this thing now or not? What have I done? Oh my god. Was I, was I walking around naked right there and didn't realize? Have I now only just got dressed? Yep. That was actually the case, so good stuff. Dude, why does everything sound so disgusting in this world, right? Is that screw made of a noose down there? Hmm. Okay, so I'm putting the shoes on as well, I think. I'm really confused in terms of what's actually going on right now, guys, honestly. Okay, guys, well, I tried for about 10 minutes to figure this thing out, and I still don't really understand it, so we're gonna leave that. There's gonna be something more I can do around here. So that's locked. Can I switch that and then lift it up? I mean, that was nice and easy. And there's another hint there. Mom says that it became warped because of humidity or something. I think he's talking about the window. So let's check out the third hint. This might be like the final one, I guess. End for the lock. The solution is missing. So lost, maybe? And there's no L at all there, so I really don't understand. We get another hint under here. Yeah, hold up, let me lift this up. Nope, no other hints, great. All right, guys, that's about the only word I can find with this thing, and it accurately describes how I'm also feeling right now, because I just want to get in that bottom drawer. But I can just literally click. It's too dark out there, I need my lamp. So I have to gain access to that thing. Well, wow, fantastic. Yeah, those hints didn't help at all. I had to look at what the freak that word was, guys. That made no sense whatsoever. Okay, so uh, this thing here. Now I can fight the darkness. So we literally have a bold light. We're taking that orb with us. All right, let's go ahead and get the freak back out of here. I should open the window more. Well, there you go. I should step onto the bed to reach that window. How specific do you need to be, kid? All right, get the freak out the window. I guess we're doing it. You're good, I think. 
probably not. It's time to meet the other boys. At this hour, you know, you seem like a young child. I should probably preserve energy, though. That's very vague in terms of what's even happening. Uh-oh. Alex, turn the light off. Yeah, please. I think... Oh! Hey, boy! Who's a good boy? Right? Please be careful out there. So it is a good boy. Wait, what? Now all of a sudden this game just got super epic. Kid has nothing to say, as do I. So it was like a puzzle thing. I am here, Cal. How can I help you? Almost like a sidekick then along the way? I guess, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. And with that done, I guess we're on our merry way. And I think that may be the entirety of this game. That's it for now. Uh, it was more of like an escape room type thing then. I had no idea what that code was. Like, the hints that I got. How did derp relate to anything, you know? That was still really cool. I like the art style for that one and also the way, like, the lighting was and such. But anyway, guys, next game. Okay? So this next game here is called Sort the Corn. And honestly, all I'm feeling right now is that chamber music in the back, guys. And I'm gonna be real, okay? The way it's playing those little strings is making me feel all sorts of things inside. So I think this is a game where people come up to you with, like, a question. All you do is say yes or no. And I think that's about as far as it goes, literally. So let's just do this. New game, of course. Are you a king or a queen? I mean, uh... Progress saved. And here is our first person. My lord, I'll help you rule your kingdom, but you'll have to make the tough choices. Just say yes or no, understand? See, now I feel like if I said no right now, that would be like the pinnacle of irony. Let's just go ahead and mm -hmm. confirm that, okay? Good. You've already got the hang of it. Well, thank you very much for that. Our city's still very small right now, but it certainly has the potential to grow. And I guess the choices we make will, uh, I guess, determine that. Perhaps one day we will have a bustling metropolis and you'll be invited to join the Council of Crowns. <laughs> For now, all you'll need to concern yourself with is keeping the citizens happy and growing your population. Do your best, sir. I mean, lady, are you judging me right now? That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, what the f I think it's just here to pay a visit. Should we leave it be? Bro, I don't want to say no to that thing. It seems all right. It's a simple chicken. I got three dollars, so thanks for that. Next! What is wrong with the people living in my town? I just wanted humans, that's it. I'm hungry. Can I eat some folks? I've got plenty of gold so I can pay you back for their lives. Chester, I mean, I don't think that's gonna be the wisest idea. Look, stay a little bit hungry today. No. Nope. I'm gonna have to say no. Ah, fine, I'll leave them alone. That you will, Chester. Now back the freak out. <laughs> what, what, dude? I want some normal people. Hey, uh, it's slime day. Uh, got a present for me? That seems a bit like a lie, Winston. I'm being real, but uh, I kind of like your style, okay? No, I'm gonna give him some good stuff, all right? I got plus two, but negative five in the money. Yeah, I am so nice. Now get out of here before I change my mind. And she's back again. A petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists. Are you interested? Hmm. I mean, a circus sounds quite fun, so, uh, you know, let's let it be. Let's do it. And I guess that's the full day. The circus is in town, bringing joy to all those who visit. It also happens to bring a nice bit of gold. Guys, just look at the stuff I made from a simple day's work. I am a god when it comes to being a king. Wait, that statement makes no sense actually thinking about it. People are happy and the city is growing. Of course it's gonna be that way. Though we don't look- Georgie, you better back up. Hey, bud. Care to flip a coin with me? Heads, I'll give you a bunch of gold tails. I'll take a bunch of people's souls. No, get the heck out of here. I ain't about to gamble my citizens' lives. Okay, the first semi-normal person. Bum bum badum dum dum. Boosh. Yeah, you like my rhythm, bro? Uh, I mean, not bad. You know, mm -hmm. I'll say that. I got plus three for that, so, uh, yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Okay, he's done. Now, this is a normal person, the military general. A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? Now, the problem with that is maybe I'll lose some citizens as a result. I don't know, military general. I'm being real. That scar on your face says that you probably nearly died yourself. Then again, I may get attacked in the process, so I'm actually gonna say yes to that one. All right, we got 15 plus, so good stuff. Okay, now what the freak is this, dude? Monsieur Espirit? Hmm. You call this a castle? Well, well, yeah, of course I call it a castle. So, uh, indeed it is. Trick question. Oh, this looks like a witch, and it is. There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Now, that could save lives, and if we've got, like, a safer place, look, people are gonna wanna stay, so yeah, that sounds good. I'll pay just minus 10, and we got plus 4 as a result. Circus still in town, we made plus 10 and two more people. Look, good stuff all around. And then we've got this one here. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's becoming something of a folk hero. Why is this game deeper than what I thought, you know? I tend to get in this sort of stuff quite a lot. It's one of those games where it's kind of captivating knowing that your city is growing. You have to kind of envision what's happening behind the scenes in your head. But I don't know, they're just really interesting, this sort of stuff. Still one more day, let's see how much we can mess things up or actually improve things. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. And by stuff, I'm pretty sure they mean, uh... <laughs> Should we put a bounty on it? Uh, nah, let the monkey do its thing. People can live with it, all right? Two people left. Chester, what do you want? Have you ever seen a treasure chest do a backflip? No? Can I, can I actually see one? No. Well, you're good. Oh, I, I kind of wanted to see that, actually. You again? 
What do you want now? Hey, here's a deal for you, pal. Give me some of your people's happiness. I'll hook you up with some gold. Sound good? Like, nah, dude. Mm. I ain't about that. Georgie, you can just go on, okay? I ain't about to bargain with the devil, okay? You ain't messing with my people's sanities. The general's back again. We've captured some foes on the battlefield. Shall we bring them home and put them to work? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh. That sounds like a good idea. So they'll be back in town. You just gotta watch them. You don't know what they're gonna be doing behind the scenes, you know? Builders wish to construct more houses in the town. They request gold in which they could build much faster. Yeah, that's what I wanna see. I wonder if the thing in the back then will start to expand as time goes on. It does. So as time goes on, you actually see things expand in the back. Um, all seeing eyes just staring at me. Does it want something? I think it does. Let's say yes to that. I think it does. It gave me plus 100. Wait, what just happened? I feel so lucky. Dude, poke it right now. All right, guys, look, this is one of those games where if I don't stop now, I'm going to carry on for literally hours upon hours because I just want to see things progress. So this is what we're going to call this one here. This is a really cool game, though. This is called Sort the Court, and I guess I'd actually recommend for you guys to check it out yourself if you're into this simplistic style of gameplay. It's just so easy. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Yeah, next game. So this final game we're playing now, guys, is called He Keeps Me Here. I don't really know too much about this one again, as I do with literally none of these games. So we're just going to start this thing up. Why does that sound so scary? What is going on? Why are things moving so fast outside? Who am I? How old am I? And why does my hair look like that? Okay, so we're looking around here. I mean, that looks like our wife ma Oh... My goodness, I hate this mirror. Bro, it's telling you the truth, and the truth <laughs> takes on her right now. So who's this lady here? I dream of her. Well, I I'm sure she doesn't dream of you, I'm being real. So what is the objective right here? I just want to be with her. Little bit obsessive, gonna be real. Okay, open the door. Nope. I can never leave. So this room here is like a tomb to an extent. What about the bed? I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep just yet. So wait, clicking on this, does it help? Okay, let me look at myself again. I'm nobody. Uh, it's the only thing between us. I hate this mirror. So, are you saying, like, the solution is to go out the mirror or something? Uh, I don't know about box. He keeps me here. I can never leave. Wait, so are we, like, ca- Who the freak is that? Dingus-looking, alien feature-looking, like- Let me look at the door again. Why is that thing getting closer? If I look at this, I have to find a way- Alright, I'm not liking this, really. Are you getting closer? Because I can't tell. And I'd rather you stay put. Check the bed. Uh, I can't turn the light off or anything like that. I, I don't know what that thing is, guys. I really don't. What did I do? I did nothing different. Uh, also, where's that alien thing gone? Okay, you've got a package. Uh, it's about time I got a clock. Good one. Good one. Okay, I know just the spot for this, so apparently it's there. It, uh, it's... Okay, that looks creepy as heck. Ooh. Look, that was good. Every minute I'm not with her is a waste. Dude, you're obsessing. You're tripping as well. You better stop. Got a hammer on the floor here. Okay, my hammer. I've been looking for this. Put it through the window? Okay, I guess not. On the door? Nope. What about the mirror? Do we want to see ourselves anymore? I... Savage. Whoa. So it flipped the room back on itself, I think? We're on the other side of the mirror. I think that's what's happening. I must go to her. Okay, I'm seeing that. Uh, what about the bed? No comment on that. Uh, maybe we can open the door. I am finally someone, now I can be with her. Um, he will never see me again. Um. Um. Ah! Hi, guys. Uh, thing to note about this game, it was literally made like the whole thing in six days, so I wasn't expecting anything too crazy. It was good, and it was a nice little puzzle experience, I guess. You know what, let's do one more bonus game for the heck of it. Okay, guys, this final game is called Death Trips. This is one I've already played, but I just want to replay this thing so some more of you guys can see it, because it is just brilliant, okay? October 31st, 2008. Inspector M. James is in a hunt for a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim of this dreadful criminal was found in his cheap hotel, where Lady James is currently investigating. Currently for the inspector. The murderer is still there. Yeah, I am. I'm that freaking investigator. I'm gonna find this criminal. So here we are then. I guess we must have arrived through the lobby doors and I've just realized as well that the hotel is literally down a back street. Certainly not the best place for a hotel I've seen, but look, okay. Hello? Anyone here? Do I uh, just let myself in? Because what about if I wasn't me and I was actually another person trying to steal the place? There's Hello? a key right here. I can just take it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking right now. It looks like it's got some kind of fire damage to it. Can't inspect through there. And the only thing we can do, guys, is head up the elevator. I mean, I got my room key. What more do I need to do? You know, let's go ahead. Let's get this done. Made it to my floor, and of course, it would be completely darkened to the very end of the corridor, right? Automatic lighting, please? Yay! Okay, kind of, I guess. And that must be the killer, all right? There ain't nothing we can do, guys. However...
trips, guys. You read it first here. And on that note, guys, I feel like that's going to just about do it for this episode of four random games, despite me saying three in the beginning, because I had no idea I would do this. A cool variation of games for this episode, and as always with the series, I don't really look too much into the games before I play them. I kind of just pick them, and then we play them on the channel, and that's about it. And with that said, guys, I think this is where I'm going to call this episode of four random games right here, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.